the weekend. Right now we're sitting at 83 degrees out at Phoenix Sky Harbor. Winds are still a little bit on the breezy side. A disturbance down to our south of us has managed to kick up a little bit of wind today, but those winds should be lightning as we head through the rest of this evening and into tonight. Basically, once that sun goes down, things become a little bit more stable out there. Right now we've got 6% on the relative humidity, so it is very dry at the surface and not a lot of moisture present at all. High country looks gorgeous. We have sunshine there over Heber Overgard. Sunrise looking good there. Snow on the slopes, but clear skies. And Prescott, gorgeous sunny conditions there. Flagstaff, you can still see quite a bit of snow on the ground, but there's certainly no snow coming from the sky. And uh, if you're planning on maybe heading up to the high country, Sedona might be a good destination for you this weekend. 66 for the high tomorrow. Sunny conditions on Sunday. We'll see a high of 68. And then on Monday, maybe uh, some of you already on spring break, uh, you may have that day off. And we're going to see sunny conditions there as well. So there's not a really a whole lot going on across the nation other than the cold, but we do have another system that's dropping into North Dakota. That's going to bring some snowfall there and it's just kind of breeze through the Great Lakes region with some lake effect snow. Otherwise, it's pretty quiet. The West is dealing with high pressure and so warming temperatures even up to the high country. 49 for the high tomorrow in Flag, 65 in Sedona, 65 also in Prescott. There's lots of sunshine. Valley temperatures in the 80s. 81 and 79 in Casa Grande. Here across the valley tonight, it's going to be pretty mild out there. 53 degrees for the overnight low. We'll see clear skies and as I mentioned, those lighter winds. Tomorrow, a high of 81 degrees. Plenty of sunshine to go around. And we actually just in Prescott, Sedona, and in Payson. Temperatures across much of central and southern Arizona in the upper 70s to low 80s. And winds cranking up, particularly along the southeast pocket of the state, but even breezy here in the valley as low pressure kind of passes right to our south here. We're getting these gusts near 30 miles per hour in Globe and in Safford at this hour. So here it is. Our ridge of high pressure still in control, but we got a little low pressure system undercutting that. And tomorrow it could bring a few isolated showers to the White Mountains. The rest of us stay sunny and dry. This ridge continues to build in through the weekend and into next week, which will keep our temperatures on the rise. 80s are here for quite some time. We're at 83 now, humidity at just 6%. Incredibly dry and again breezy out there across the valley. Temperatures tonight down into the low 70s by 8 o'clock tonight, upper 60s by 9 p.m. We'll bottom out in the upper 40s to low 50s across the valley under clear skies and then see temperatures almost identical to what we're feeling out there now in the upper 70s to low 80s tomorrow afternoon. Right around 1 o'clock, 78 degrees, sunny and warm for spring training. Those temperatures hitting those 70s as early as 11 o'clock in the morning. And again, it is going to be a warm afternoon in the 80s with your seven-day forecast taking us to 83 degrees by Monday and climbing into the mid to upper 80s through the middle of next week. Of course, no snow, but I did want to show you a little bit of snow because we have a live look right now at half of a duo that is going viral. Look at that guy. Well, it might be the mama. The, the mama's bald eagles. Valley will. So the stars have ended. Turning here. They take turns sitting on that snow and protecting those eggs no matter what the weather. It took dedication. They stayed on that egg as the snow kind of piled up around them. You can see them getting covered there. This was captured yesterday uh, in, at the, by the Pennsylvania Game Commission. His head almost covered. Can you see it? Yeah, that's kind of like the picture she shows the kids when she grounds them later. Like, look what this mom did for you all those years ago. You're grounded. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Too cute. That's cool. <laughs> I like that they're co-parenting. Yeah. That's a good baby daddy. <laughs> right. Just had to throw that in there. All right, a picture is worth a thousand... Say cheese. <laughs> Actually, there is a camera that takes a thousand years to take a picture.